my friends, welcome back. We are playing as the Federation of Planets. Now, um, we got a lot of stuff to do. We're trying to integrate the Denoblians, and we are actually getting onto a very good place with our economy. And I would like to see that some of these factions, or actually some of these empires will be integrated into the federation and this will gain me one two three four five unity apparently we're making six no we're eight making eight point thirty nine influence which is a extremely nice amount i've also been talking in the comment section about the uh, sector settings and we're going to do one sector as uh, the sector that will be automated um, but we'll wait until we have a, a very nice stockpile because now some of them are just doing these, um, oh damn, what's the name again? Uh, the planetary features, the, um, the tile blockers. And uh, so that's also very nice that they are doing that on their own. Uh, but yeah, I'm still waiting for this ruler to become less of a prick. And it's going to be another four years four to five we still have jobs available so we don't have to change and like i said earlier on in, in the other episodes we need to make sure that we get more strategic resources it's going to be extremely important so that's definitely a thing that we need to be doing were we also just um shall we just close this for now oh we got some communication commercial pack invitations um sure why not establishing colony, establishing colony. Uh, I'm going to kill the um, the audio again, I guess. <laughs> no, okay. Uh, let's not. This is just a loud song. Let's unpause. Um, so everything is back. We are very close at getting um, two more ships. And we'll be at max uh, fleet size, according to our uh, naval cap we are at the moment. Um, you are building up naval depots, which is quite nice. So we're going to 133. Two plus four, so that's eight, and now we can actually get. Where are you? Didn't we have that? Yeah, we do have that. I'm a dum dum. I can see it. Let's see. Let's wait it for a second. Don't we have? Oh, here we go. The naval. I was looking for the um, the other one, the other named. So let's take that and we'll see what we'll do with the other one. We could build up a, a listening post. So it would give a very short range into the Klingon territory as well as the the uh, the Romulan Star Empire's territory. But I don't think it's going to be that interesting. I would, however, like to make an orbital museum, since I think that is a very good way pushing the frontier and also getting that base unity up there so we're going to make these two let's remove that the denoblians we're on 66 can we do a high intensity yes we can we'll get a 33 percent we have one percent to go so we'll have to do a low later um getting what why are you doing this mate someone is on the fire Oh, look at that! Oh, that doesn't bode well for you, mate. I think you might be dying. Oh, wow, you are lucky. They're very close in the galactic core. There's always so many enemies. Uh, we have the new fusion power core, which is quite nice. We could go with... Let's take a quick look here. Surveying speed plus 10%. Research. Computer. Hmm. Or energy output. Hmm. It's actually quite a nice boost. And since we are going to do it with the Earth. The Earth sector. All the 11. Uh, we're going to automate them. Apart from the Earth itself. Because it, it's just not working that way. Can we actually see in what sector it would be? Well as long as that's Ulf. Um, I'm, I'd say it's, a, it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. Can we change this to refinery? No. Well, it's a bit of a, a shame though. Well, what can you do? Agricultural. Um, we're making that. So this is going to be a farming planet. 
You are, by the looks of it, going to be energy, administration, and let's boost some energy as well. Development, minerals. I would like to see this as minerals. Yeah, of course. Let's do minerals. It still is Ulf. Entertainment system of center. Well, we could maybe reform this into a research. We do need research. We need a bunch of it. So let's get that started. Uh, still Ulf. Let's pause here for a second. I see so many things on the background. Mm. I don't care that much for crew production since we are actually doing quite nice. Yeah, we can already do a commercial output. That we're just going to give this a try. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We'll change everything. It, it's it's okay. It is okay. If we do a city district, will it give us anything? It could be. Uh, we should get everything except for this. We can make one of them. Let's see, how many do do we make? Let's see, uh, luxury, six. Yeah, we, we, we'll, we'll get away with We'll buy one. And this one is going to be then city. Just to try it out. Let's see, and this is no longer Ulf. So those are the 11 planets that are going to be participating in the sector testing. Uh, and we'll just see if it works or not. Uh, who are you fighting again? We got the mines and the Pergon power station. Industrial protection, photon torpedoes. But also the uh, the pots are very nice. The lander pot wing. I would like to get all three of these. But this does more into damage. Again, wh why are we still in here? Let's just lock you up out of there. You might be destroyed. Well, maybe you didn't. Don't go in there. Same goes for you over here. And you. I wish that this would be like something that as a scientist, I would say it would be very likely you get into a system that is very aggressive. So automatically not going in there would in theory be a very, very good idea. So as a scientist, I would say, I'm not a scientist though, as, as if I was a scientist, was, yeah, I, I was a scientist. If I knew there was something in that it could kill me, I'm not sure if I would go. So, automation is on. On. Agricultural districts being made, no new things over here. It's because we are going at a very, very slow pace. Commercial, commercial, industry, educate. Ex yeah, well, we, we, could, we could change it right now. It's now on commercial. Terra Nova and everything else. We should start automating, like, everything. And the reason for it, it will become good for its style blocking. We'll just see what will happen. Agricultural site has been finished. Quite nice. That one is on, that is on, we can't turn this one on, let's just upgrade that. So it's out of the way. Mm, yeah. So we we'll still have to... Wow, what the fuck was that? It flinched. Did you see my screen flinch there first? Again. So weird. I hope it's not in the video. If it isn't, then it's clearly my screen. Anyway, let's take a quick look. There is a war declaration. Of, wow, the Klingon Empire is really having it rough. The House of Kang and the House of Morg. I'm hoping the House of Morg will win. So, let's see. Our political site has been finished. Uh, which is very interesting. We didn't get anything. Okay, cool. I guess. Let's close you up. Let's go to this scientist over here. Is there still something I haven't done before? Um, no, there, there's little you can do now. He is going into that direction. What we should do is we should keep 
a scientist over here and preferably by a planet that does do a lot of research there will be events that will need a scientist to do whatever it is doing so the fleet is at full strength which is quite nice so we're saving up for about 500 influence and we can upgrade the fleet how is this all going with them they're superiorly the overwhelming the Cardassians are struggling I would have expected them to have a fight with the um, the Valerian Freeholds who are part of my coalition so they're not going to do that the Cardassians are not going to be that strong the Bajorans mm, interesting Yazi's children their faces wet yeah I'm, I got a slight feeling that this might be horrid rock as well uh, oh a leader died and I didn't I just clicked it away Anomaly. I'm sorry for that <laughs> tell me in the comment section who it was please uh, otherwise I would be uh, quite embarrassed let's see let's get a research agreement gone I don't there's a peace a peace deal between the Sonas and the Pakalots interesting so they have already made peace um it doesn't feel that the sonic command is actually winning they the sonic command got one system and one planet so they actually did win the war uh, research agreement we don't care about so yeah let's take a quick look again here we're still making all of these sectors and we'll be automating whatever it is that they are doing. I would have thought that they would automatically upgrade. But that is just not doing it. And also we need a planet that will help us sustain automation. So the Captain Imperial Inquisitor. And the crew of the Enterprise attempt to scan the black hole. But are unable to get any readings from the ship's scanners. Let's launch a probe. Um, despite being within the design parameters, the probe telemetry continues continued only until the point it crossed the threshold of the event horizon, detecting nothing out of the ordinary as it did so. Out of the air order as it did so. Okay. A sense of unease is felt across the bridge officers of the Enterprise nervously. A junior officer tells of a legend of a huge creature which devours ships. Wow. I I would say let's continue to observe. Uh, why would we bring the ship in or any closer? Then? I'm not sure if it works that way. And raising the shield. There is at the moment no need to raise the shield. Even though he is just being full of superstitious. So let's continue. Let's go towards this. And here we go. We have the NX Enterprise. Let's uh, research this project. Oh, this is very, very nice system. Wow. No, I like the blue. Yeah. I really like that. And this is in the galactic core. Right into the galactic core. Very interesting. So you are done. Let's put you to commercial outlet. The pajem commercial. And we're making uh, less food now, which is uh, of course not what we want. Advances in healthcare. Interesting. Establishing um, colony. Yeah, let's go with this planet specialization. If that changes anything. Uh, so far not of course we didn't do the research yet so it makes little sense so it, it stopped being so annoying it's it's like that they're, they're extremely tiny right where are they they're over here like you're inferior already stop being such a douche but we don't have any problems with you we don't need problems with you and otherwise it would be bad for your health hmm After months of research, the best human scientists are unable to determine the origin of the unusual properties of the black hole. 
And we'll take him closer to the void. Oh damn, here we go. The ship uh, moves on its uh, trust, uh, impulse thrusters to the event horizon, just a few kilometers from where the probe subspace telemetry disappeared. Suddenly, the, ap um, the apparent horizon expands rapidly and involves the Enterprise. The ship seems to take no damage, but the crew tries to scan the surrounding area and there's nothing. Let's uh, raise the shields, red alert. I know, I think I know this one. Isn't that the garbage dump? Isn't that the garbage dump from these guys? After near, uh, nearly half an hour since detect something, an enemy warship uh, on a attack vector. Already at red alert, the Enterprise is well prepared as the enemy ship enters warp range and it begins firing upon the Enterprise. After the first volley of shots, the shields are only down to 94, 94%. They don't seem to be a threat. Try to open a hailing frequency. The enemy vessel is not responding to hail and fires upon the Enterprise. It's clearly that they are hostile and cannot be reasoned with. Uh, let's uh, disable the ship. The instant the, uh, the beam hits the enemy ship, it detonates into a huge explosion. The weapons officer remark, remarks that the vessels should have been withstand many more shots. I think it was already damaged. They are just fighting in there. I think that this is the, uh, the, the graveyard and they are just trying to get all of that stuff from other ships. So where silence has lease. Okay. Um, with the enemy ships reduced to a pile of debris, since it detects a cluster of stars of the port bow, the Enterprise is able to detect the rest of the universe through a small patch. Of course, now they can do that. Captain Imperial Inquisitor orders a course plotter to the exit and engages the warp drive. Just as the Enterprise is nearing the exit, the star fades away to be replaced by nothingness yet again. The debris from the destroyed vessel has been lost from the sensors and the Enterprise is now completely alone. For a few minutes later, a new exit appears on the starboard bow. Let's set a course again. The ship is nearing the exit and just as before it will... Okay, so... It's all stop. So the crew of the Enterprise is uneasy as the sensation of being watched intensely. Um, several now believe that they are being toyed with. Um, we could heal the void. Oh, wow. Out of the blackness, a disjointed face appears ahead of the Enterprise, identifying itself as the Naglium. It identifying itself it describes itself as the curious entity wondering how the human species can suffer mortally and yet overcome to thrive okay captain imperial inquisitor tells the nagalum that mortal mortally more mortality mortality wow mortality is a driving force of the human culture you exist and you can cease to exist. And your minds call it death. Oh my. <laughs> the bridge officer stands to shake violently. It grabs his face in vain effort to control himself. But falls from the station screaming. He collapses on the floor into a fetal position. With his eyes still open. The entity. Oh my god. Fascinates. Fascinates. Oh, fascinated. I'm sorry, guys. Not English here. Fascinated by the death. Tells the, the crew that it will be experiment upon them in different forms of killing until he understands it fully. Um, let's go to the conference room. The captain in poker assembles the junior and the senior officers to the Enterprise as the a discussion plans to stop the Nigrum from killing all aboard the ship. Direct resistance is disgusted and 
decided to be futile as the entity has demonstrated a high capability of manipulating the local environment. Several plans are discussed. Disgusted with one officer suggests trying to reason with Nagala and bargain um, for only a few to die. As for its experiments, this is, seems like a dumbest plan. And the final one suggested by the captain, of course, the captain, Imperial Inquisitor, is proposed to set self-destruct timer onto the ship. Not be able to observe. That is true. I, I set to, set to self-destruct. Set uh, for 20 minutes during the meeting. 19 minutes passed. As the countdown timer reaches the last 30 seconds. The nothingness surrounding the Enterprise appears to reduce. Which is 10. Still, Imperial waits. As for the countdown time, reaches 10 seconds. Let's cancel. And the vast nothingness is gone. Hey, we made it! And the Imperial Inquisitor now is a spark of genius. Oh, I did this one, right? Yes! Quite nice. I love it. I really love that. So that can go, that can go, that can go. We don't care about all of that. Let's wait until all of these are done. And uh, then the experiments can begin uh, since we are slowly getting more. So you are already on. Are there more options now? No, there are not. So you... Just a few more. Just five. And some surveying complete, which we don't care about. There we go. So. Okay, so the housing sector doesn't do anything. And we can actually set you to, like, build a farming district. But we have to be careful, since we don't have too much of that nitrate. But we are going to get a few administrative centers over here. So there would be enough energy to create those nitrates. We'll see, we'll see. This is the only sector which we will do this experiment in. Okay, there is nothing for an administrative thing. Okay, that's a bit of a bummer. So I put you on industrial colony. So that's 37. Agricultural district. I was kind of hoping that it was doing something, but it clearly doesn't. So, social butterfly. Further examination of the ruins have uncovered various terraforming facets and information about civilization that built them. Interesting. So, a lot of things to do. Now, let's see. We have unemployment. Yet, we don't have the means. Let's go into the sector AI. Let's, um, let's do... 500 and 2000 let's see what will happen so he's actually going to work administrative complex um, he's actually upgrading the field headquarters then everyone is upgrading and uh, you are actually cleaning the wasteland Construction complete. interesting very interesting actually guys that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Don't forget the uh, the schedule's changing. So in two days we are back with Star Trek, the uh, the New Horizons, into the Mirror Darkly, of course. So thank you for watching. See you in two days. Goodbye.